Hi everyone. In this video, we will discuss about a new project called server availability. The server availability is there in the Cucumber package. If you open the botsdna.com, you can find the second project package called Cucumber. Within that, there is a project called server availability. Let us see now what is the server availability. So in this project, the bot has to fill the information and check the server is online or offline or it is not available. Let us click on the download Excel. I'm downloading Excel into the server eval folder, the input Excel. Now, let us open the Excel. It has the UID and password and the server name. There is a user, user ID is there. The user ID and password and server code. So basically here, there is no server code separately, IP address separately. So what the bot has to do, the robot has to combine the server code and IP address from the Excel. The server code is in the C column. The IP address is in the D column. It has to combine these two columns by hyphen. Not only that, if you see the IP address, there is a dot. Instead of a dot, you have to replace again the hyphen. Because in the website, there is a hyphen or there, there's no dots. So once you combine those two and replace the dot with this hyphen, then you can find, you can form the server name. Now, let us try one thing. So the robot has to start from the starting and continuously it will just uh, try to uh, try to feed the information and update the status in the E column. Let us try this one the username, that's a UID, and the password of that. Okay, and this is a KL and 21233. Let us try KL. It is KL 21232333. Yeah, this is a Perfect thing. Click on the start. It is offline. The server is offline. Copy the offline and paste here in the D. Like that. So just try one more thing. Either it will show available or not available. That means online or offline. What is the server name for this? KL765. Just try say KL765. 765 is there. 765.543. This is also offline. Okay. Let us try this one. And this is a B. B126 starts with. 126426, yeah. Yeah, this is online. They have to update the status here. The robot has to update the status here. If anything is not available, suppose UI, let us try UI is there. UI34, UI213, UI213, UI343 is there. UI213 is not there, okay. If the server is not, at all, at all existed. See, the server UI212231 is not available in this list. UI213 
two, three, one is not available in this list. In this case, so what you have to update? Server not found. Okay. The server found. What is the next step? So the robot has to the robot has to take each and every line and form the server uh, name and check initially whether that server is available in this list or not. If that is not available in this list, it has to update on that particular uh, e column. In the server not available like this. If it is available, you can find once you click on the start server, you can find online or offline. So those things you have you have to update here. That is the only the project. So you just try it out. So if you want to uh, know what is the step by step process in the UA path. You can just click on this YouTube link. Okay, this will redirect you to the actually. So what? How how can we implement this project from the scratch? First, my suggestion is try by yourself. Thank you very much.